stem bite. Okay, so for today's stem bite, we're gonna go on one of my favorite walks, which is down to this parking lot. I know it sounds silly to go for a walk to a parking lot, but my son loves seeing this big bus that's here. He likes big buses and trucks. And I love seeing these chains. These chains are an awesome way to illustrate the idea of standing waves. And to me, standing waves are one of the coolest things in all of physics. Uh, and I just want to show it to you here. It's pretty sweet. So this is a chain, and like any rope or string, um, you can send waves on, down it. If I just send a little wave launch in here, you'll see it'll kind of bounce back and forth, do some crazy stuff. Nothing really is much ordered here, but if I send a repeating wave at, at a very particular frequency or wavelength, I, I can kind of set up this standing wave. And I just want to show you a couple of those with this chain. It's kind of cool. So one of them is kind of like do it like jump roping style. Just send a single wave kind of, and I'm going to do it as a rotation, going like a jump rope, right? This would be like the fundamental wave of this chain. And I can show it to you. It's kind of falling apart now. All right, but that's just like a jump rope. Now, if I go at a little higher frequency, I can find another sort of fundamental wave of this chain. So let me try this. I'm going to try to do it with two bumps, right, or two anti-nodes, as they're called. Let's try it. Ready? Here we go. All right. I'm going to go, and it will kind of tell me when I find it. Oh, oh, and it kind of reinforces it. It'll speed me up and slow me down. The chain really pushes back. And so you can see I got these double wave going, right? I'm going to let it go and, and show you just kind of stepping away from it. All right, so this is like two of these big bumps or anti-notes. This is another natural frequency of this chain, which is pretty cool. So now, let's see, if I go faster, I can try to set up some more standing waves. And I do this with my son, and um, it's just kind of fun. So let me try it one more time here. Let's try to get three of them. Let's see what happens. Go a little faster. And again, it kind of feeds back. There it is. Go, 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 go. And I can let it go again. And I got my standing wave. All right, it's too cool. I love playing with standing waves, and there's lots of places we can see it. So I'm going to show you a couple more examples. Okay, so the thing that's so cool about standing waves is they demonstrate this really powerful principle called resonance, which is that things want to vibrate at certain frequencies. They have like this natural frequency that they really want to go at. We saw that with the chains. We gave it some of those natural frequencies, some of those resonant frequencies, and we can see it with this tub of water. That's what makes it so powerful is resonance appears in so many different things in nature. I'm just going to show you with this water right here. I put some food coloring in it so we could see it better. All I'm going to do is move my hand to the bottom of this tub and back up to the surface, but the key is that I can change whether I do that quickly or whether I do that really slowly. All right. And what I want you to notice is how high the water gets in the tub. In fact, I'm going to try to get water out of the tub without ever even lifting my hand beyond the top of this surface. The key is I sort of have to listen to the tub of water with my hand and say, when does it really want me to go again? I'll feel it kind of rise and I have to go back down with it. And that's allowing me to kind of go with that resonance. So I'm going to try it here. Let's see if we can get it. See, it's starting to go. See, big waves are going across. I'm going to try to get it to spill out. Oh, it's starting to splash. Splash. Splash is getting me wet. Okay, and it's spilling out. Now, you see this big wave is going here. I've got a huge standing wave. Okay, and it's going back and forth. It's not really standing still, but this is still a standing wave here in the puddle of water. And notice my hand is just going the same height, but it's at the right frequency. That's the power of resonance. Now I'll try to show you this on a bigger scale. Okay, so I'm excited to try to build a standing wave on a bigger scale. So I found the biggest piece of rope I could find in my house. And on the other, at one end I tied it to my son's jungle gym. And at the other end, I tied it to an old broken fan that I had in the house. And I, I tied that broken fan with some duct tape to kind of a stick. And so I can hopefully turn this fan on and we'll kind of see if I can get a standing wave on this piece of string. I mean, it's just like the chain, except I'm kind of automating it. Now, I can't control the frequency like I could with the chain, um, so I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to plug in the fan, send it going, and it's starting to rotate. There it goes. And it looks like we've got kind of like a three bump, three anti-node standing wave. Let me see if I can let the fan go. It gets really wobbly, but it's still going. So that's on the lowest speed, so it kind of makes me wonder, <laughs> I'm kind of shocked that this is working, it makes me wonder if I turn up the fan, if I'll get another standing wave. Oh no, this is low. Look at that. Now i got an N equals 2 here, a 2 anti-node standing wave. Alright, so this is cool. You can make standing waves just about anywhere. 
even with old crappy broken fans. Stand by.